New Year, everyone, right here on Nick Kane's World. I hope you've had an awesome start to 2020, right down here in good old Australia at the moment. We are um, singeing a little. It is hotter out there at the moment than a nun's underutilised Nancy. Now we are receiving great help from our government telling us to keep our liquids up. Well, that is just about how helpful the information he is giving us at the moment. So, in these go-go catastrophic times, I'm going to bring you guys a time saver. Christmas leftovers in a shake. 2020 edition. Now, to the fireys out there, I ain't making this for you guys, okay? You guys are fucking legends and heroes. I'm just a fucking dickhead. Watch this for a few laughs, alright? Well guys, guess it's all that's left to do is to put this all in the shape. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. Shit, nearly forgot about lunch. Hmm, probably could add it to the shake. Okay, we better add lunch. Hmm. Half frozen mashed potato. Every growing boy's dream. You've probably been looking around this part of the table for a little while now. There is a few mystery ingredients to add to this bad boy. I suppose the best way to reveal these is through a nice little story. Oh, I thought the intro was going to go a bit longer. Okay, I'll start off with the story. Now, I went down to my local mall over the Christmas period. Had a bit of a long wait in line, along with the little five-year-olds. Of course, I'm 38, so there's nothing weird here. And waiting and waiting and waiting. Santa's beaming as he's talking to children, giving them their wishes, seeing the hope in their eyes. He was beaming extra hard when the little boys were sitting on his lap. I'm not sure what that was about. And what was a little extra weird was a couple of the little boys were walking away like this. Now... I'm not one to, you know, make crude jokes or anything, but I think that, you know, they probably hit their little butts on the edge of maybe the Santa seat or some of the props, so, you know, I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, back to the story. It was my turn. I ran up to Santa, gave him a great big hug. He was looking at me kind of weird and down-like. And then he said, Okay, little boy. What would you like? Oh, wait a minute. No, sorry, I can't say that to you. Okay, young man. What would you like for cri- No, that's wrong again. <sighs> okay, male of legal age. <sighs> what would you like for Christmas? And I was saying to him, Oh, Santa, I would really like to spice up my life this year. You know, give me something that will make me happy. Give me some energy. Make me enjoy life. And I was thinking, of course, in my head, Oh, Santa's going to bring me a blow-up doll. Or go around to the Super Deluxe Adult Store a couple of blocks over and get me some, you know, nice little electrified nipple clamps or some fandangled sex toy that I plug into the computer and it will show uses and all this kind of stuff. You know, that kind of... Great Christmas story. And so guys, I waited. Christmas morning came around. I came out bounding to the tree, as you can see in a previous video. And under my tree, I found these. Oh, 
Harvey Weinstein, I really want to be in one of your movies. I just know I'd ace the audition. Oh! Get it? Chili Palmer? Get it? From Get Shorty. It was a great movie. You guys should watch it. And this one here? Red hair and freckles. Ah, nasty, yuck! This disease is called gingivitis. Gingers don't have a sole episode of South Park. What? So I was looking around at these and I got really disappointed. What the hell is this sick bastard doing? And then it hit me. And I thought, oh my god, maybe he's given me the gift to use in an upcoming YouTube video. Alright, let's make sure he didn't short me out on this stuff either. Oof. Smells like chili. Oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, god damn! Oh, god! Oh. oh, that sweet release of water. Fuck! Jesus! Oh. Oh. He didn't shorten out. Okay, let's add some of this to the shake. That's enough. Might as well check on the ginger as well, you know. Smells like ginger. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, fuck ginger. Oh. That sucks a donkey. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, fucking hell. That's ginger. Let's put some of this in there too. <sighs> now let's rewind a little bit back in the story. As I was sitting on Santa's lap, he then asked me again quite bored. Is there anything else you want for Christmas? I said, yes, yeah, Santa, there is something else I want. He's like, what would you like, son? Santa, I would like the sweet release of death. So I waited to, you know, that Christmas morning. And then, as well under the tree, were these. Now, you sick old bastard. You give me some tablets from a grocery store to help me relax and sleep. These are not going to work. You stupid, red-suited old cunt. You know what, though? We're going to test them out. There we go guys, about 15 tablets there. Plop those in. We ready for a bit of music? It was a teenage wedding. You could see that Pierre did truly love it. C'est la vie, c'est the old folks. It goes to show you never can. Okay guys, I think we're done. Got my glass. Here's to a happy and prosperous 2020. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Wow. 
个纪念。青春在，青春在，青春在。Oh Jesus! <laughs> A new year is upon us. Time to relax. <laughs> Uh, Nick? 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 Taking this back to the cult. Damn, guys, look at the sweat just pouring out of me with that fucking chili and ginger. Oh boy, remember to subscribe to Nick Haynes World, where pretty soon I will do the hottest drink ever made.